Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Spillway Suicidal, and I'm going to adjust my microphone position here a little bit. Down to maybe like that. I think that'll sound a little bit better, maybe. So, I have, uh, I don't know, if, have I mentioned it already? I'm not sure. I have my Minecraft thumbnail. It is ready, it is, you know, completed. I cannot, I cannot aim, but I have, I have a Minecraft thumbnail, and you know, one of these is important and one of them isn't. It's definitely um, the aim that is important, though, right now. Um, anyway, so I've got. Uh, oh my god! What the heck? I, like I just I cannot aim. I cannot aim. Um, I have a Minecraft thumbnail though. He's uh, he's finished it. I've sent off the money, the payment. I I literally like I just my brain is not in a mood to be able to to aim and click on heads at the moment. Um, but uh, we have a Minecraft thumbnail, so at this point in time, the only reason you don't have a Minecraft video available to you to watch right now is because I haven't uploaded it. Well, I have to add in the music, but that's like, you know, a two minute thing, then render it. Um, but like, it's, it's, the, it's edited and all that. Um, I just haven't rendered it yet. Uh, anyway. So at this point in time, I have no more excuses. I don't get to say, you know, well, it's um, you know, kind of we're just waiting on this one thing. We're just, you know, it's just this thing. Nah, it's 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 entirely on me to get off my butt and do it. I'm just I'm not ready to make that commitment into the new level of uh, of content production that we're going to be doing here. And there's a lot of anxieties, a lot of fears, a lot of uh, you know, because it's here now, right? Like it's. I could upload it tonight if I wanted to. It's like it's 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 as ready as it's gonna be, you know? Like everything is good to go basically. I just have to actually do it. Um So I'm like, ah it's uh Yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm I, I uh, yeah, I'm I have a lot of anxieties, a lot of fears. I I don't know what they are about, really. I just there there is a lot of anxiety around it. It's a big change to my life in general. Uh, a good one, and the the sooner I do it, the better it'll be, of course. But um, it is definitely a big change to, to how I'm gonna be living my life, and I'm just uh, concerned about it. You know, I have anxieties, fears, all that kind of stuff, as I've mentioned numerous times in this episode now. Uh, but yeah, I just. Um, I have to do it. <laughs> so I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're gonna see uh, some gunfire reborn come up on the new channel in the next couple of days, maybe. But I'm not sure. I'm not because I want to do. I want to start uploading something on it just to get into the habit of uh, of doing that. You know, because um, I think that'll be good for just my personal ability to actually upload the the videos and all that. But for the YouTube algorithm, I'm not sure that's really a good idea necessarily. I, I, I feel like I really want to focus on Minecraft at first and build that audience so that uh, it doesn't think that I'm a Gunfire Reborn channel. It thinks I'm a Minecraft channel, you know? But I'm not, I'm not sure how the, the YouTube algorithm works exactly with regards to all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. But I do want to play Gunfire Reborn again. I have not played it since the last time uh, you saw me play it on uh, on the series here. I have not touched it. And I want to. It's fun. It's a good game. I like it. I just haven't been playing it. I have not been playing I haven't been playing Minecraft. I haven't been playing RuneScape. There's just a lot of stuff that I haven't been doing. Well, I should be playing RuneScape, actually, because I do have to get uh, a little bit more content recorded for that. And well, actually, I think I have to get... I think I've decided that I'm not happy with what I've got for the first episode anyway, so I probably have to like re-record all of the first episode of RuneScape, so I should really be playing some RuneScape. But whatever. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure how I want to handle the RuneScape content. I was thinking it would be like a progress series kind of thing. But then I'm like, I don't know, do I wanna do like live commentary on it? Or do I want to do post commentary? Because RuneScape is definitely the kind of game where I could do post commentary, you know? Where I could uh, play the game, record some clips as I go about uh, stuff, um, and then uh, go over the um, the video and talk and post about like what I did, what I got, 
all that kind of stuff and, and maybe record and, and maybe include a couple of live commentary clips if it was like particularly exciting, my reaction to something happening or whatever. Um, or, or just uh, sprinkle them in a little bit for variety, but... But then there's also the option of uh, making it kind of similar to what I'm doing for Minecraft where it's all live commentary and I kind of bring you guys along for everything and, and kind of walk you through how I'm handling everything and, and what we're going to be working on kind of thing and I'm not sure how I want to model it exactly yet. What I've got currently is that, where I'm uh, walking you through it, but I think I think I might want to go for more of a post-commentary kind of thing. And uh, just do some bossing, some PVM, accomplish something, get some drops, get uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Then if I do something interesting, if I do something interesting, if I try a new boss, which uh, I've done all of them really, uh, like Solak, I think I have to do um, raids. I still have to learn, um, you know. Uh, then I can bring you along for that kind of stuff and, and kind of go over the experience of learning that uh, live. But I don't know. And then I also have the Iron Man series that I want to be working on as well. I have nothing for that yet, at all. Um, but that's definitely going to be more of a uh, progression kind of thing. Um, whereas I, I think the main series, I want it to be more of a uh, like log of what I've done. You know? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm undecided. I'm undecided. If I do end up going for uh, the post-commentary kind of style, then I'll have to re-record everything. I have to go and get all new clips because they won't be suitable for that kind of content, you know. But anyway, oh well, I'll figure something out. I want to make guides on RuneScape as well. I really, really want to make guides on RuneScape. I've talked about that uh, probably a couple hundred KF2 episodes ago now, um, but I really want to do that. I feel like I could make better guides than are currently out there for people who are not great at PVM but who are willing to, to learn a little bit and uh, know what they're kind of missing you know because there, there are a lot of people in in all walks of life on all con on all things you know who understand that what they're doing isn't the best way to do things and they know what the better way to do it is they just haven't put in the time to actually like do that right so like with um, with RuneScape, for example, there are a lot of people out there who uh, you know, know how to use keybinds. They know how to do all the stuff. They just don't because they they never put in the time to actually get used to it. They never put in the time to start learning how to switch, you know, your shields or your um, rings and, and all this kind of stuff and, and they never put in the time to learn it. They know how to do it. They know that they could be doing it. They just, uh, they, they never had the motivation to do it. And when they watch all these guides, it, it talks about, you know, you need this, you need this, you need this, and it's like a billion different things and it kind of demotivates them from, from trying that more uh, advanced PVM with, with lots of switches and and all of that when the reality is you can get a big upgrade out of putting in minimal efforts. Um, you know, you don't have to be like full manual abilities and, and switching every tick and like all this kind of stuff. Like just a little bit of additional effort can go a long way and I feel like a lot of guides kind of gloss over that. They either put in the you don't do it or you do do it like it's a yes or no thing when the reality is it's kind of like a, a gradient and I, I feel like I could do a lot of uh, a lot of good work being in that gradient there in, uh, in my kind of niche as a... Uh, Acceptable PVMer who's who's pretty good and, and uses some switches, not all of them, and is aspiring to be better, but you know understands where I've come from, and I can kind of um, help people out along that route, you know. But uh, making guides is a lot of work. I haven't. Uh, I have a. I believe I have a Vindicta guide that's live. It's not very good. It's it, that's that's not the kind of content that I want. No, I think I have a Rax guide. I think I have an Araxer guide that's live. Um, it's not. It's not very good. It, I, I made it because I had uh, some time and I wanted to, to record something for, for a friend just to, to kind of go over the things that they were having trouble with um, more so than a general guide for like the general populace 
but I think it's still fine. Um, it's just, I didn't put in the time that I would have if it were a proper guy, but that's like the thing, right? Is that it takes a lot of time when you're making that kind of content. Anyway, I, uh, I'll be making guides eventually, probably. I'd really love to be. Um, for RuneScape, for KF2, definitely not. Uh, but for RuneScape, for Minecraft, probably as well. I might make Terraria guides. I won't make a Terraria progress series. Uh, definitely, definitely will not be a Terraria, you know, like, let's make our way. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's show off, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of a, let's put this on here. I'm going to show you a little bit of my, uh, what I've got going on here in Terraria. I made a, a gem corn farm. Look at that. Ain't it fancy? Ain't it fancy? It's so fancy. Goes all the way down to the, it's my elevator. Anyway, that's my, that's my, that's what I've done in Terraria now. It's in the same spot as where I showed off the uh, the fish farm before, but the fish farm was uh, not a thing because uh, master mode or 1.4 changed some stuff in it, so I had to redesign it. I used that space for gem corn farm. Um, but like just the amount of time I put into building that farm was enormous, right? Like that 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 took me a very long time to build. I had fun doing it. Right, like I had fun making it. It was it was a blast, and I'm I'm really happy with it. Really proud of it. I think it looks. It's not a um, particularly inspired build, but I think it looks good anyway. Uh, it looks fine. It looks it's acceptable, you know. Uh, and uh, but it, it took me probably ten, maybe twelve hours or something like that. And if I were to make a video on Terraria. Right? If I were to make a Terraria video. You know, start to finish there. How much how many how many minutes of, of video content am I getting out of that, you know? Eh, not much. Not much. That might be uh You know, start to finish on that I could probably pull out like ten minutes of content. Like that doesn't even fill up an episode. And on top of that this I'm not even I'm, I'm still pre hard mode, you know. Like I'm barely scratching the surface of what the game has to offer, and it's already like insanely time consuming. Now I play Terraria in a uh, in a fairly unique way. I like to build the big farms and kind of make it my you know B word. Maybe it does some cool stuff. I like to make it mine, you know, and uh, and and own it and beat it you know I, I uh, people like to play journey mode so that they get unlimited resources I like to just get myself unlimited resources in master mode that's that's what I enjoy it's what I enjoy in most games uh, the Minecraft series will be similar but in Minecraft at least it doesn't take nearly as long to do and uh, the early game is is more is quicker you know you, you don't uh, you don't you don't need a lot of stuff to get to the end game you know it's not a very hard game um. Anyway, uh, Minecraft will be similar. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just the kind of person who likes to build farms and automation and and do what I can, you know. Uh, in 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 games when it's possible, even in Portal Knights, I had uh, I had some automation uh, before they actually introduced any automation. I think there is some automation in Portal Knights now, um, but I had some even before that. Just uh, some AI pathfinding kind of stuff. For, uh, for some basic farms. Uh, anyway, I just I, I, it would it would it would take way too long for me to get an episode, which would mean the episodes would come out so terribly infrequently uh, that for me, I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to make a, a consistent upload schedule with it, right? Like with Minecraft, I can upload a video a week. With RuneScape, I can upload a video a week. It doesn't matter if I don't finish a project in Minecraft so much. It doesn't matter if I don't accomplish, you know, if I don't max in a RuneScape video. Um, because there's at least something significant to show from it. And, and in my opinion, it's more interesting, too. Like, like Minecraft is, is just more interesting to look at than Terraria is when, when you haven't built anything. You know, like a big hole is impressive in Minecraft. I mean, in Terraria, you're like, okay, well, a big hole is like, you know, it's, it's big, just a bunch of background. I don't know. It's, it, um, I don't know. 
Just, just to me, it does. I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't want to end a Terraria project. You know, I, I wouldn't want to end an episode without finishing the project that I was working on in that episode. If it was something like that, you know, some things you can't finish in in one episode, and, and you at least, I guess, I guess that's kind of what it comes down to. You at least accomplish something in it, you know. Um. Like with an Enderman farm, you can build the farm and then you have the farm functional and it, you know, took a, some decent effort. And then you can pretty it up in the next episode or refine it or something. I guess you can do the same thing. I could have built the gem corn farm and had the gems there, but it just, it, it doesn't, it's not interesting to me when, when it's not done. To look at as, as a viewer, you know? As a, as a viewer of, uh, of Terraria, and I watch a couple of Terraria YouTubers. I, I wish I knew more. If you guys know more Terraria YouTubers, like, please tell me in the comments or, like, PM me if you don't want to support me and you think I'm, like, trying to steal your, um, uh, like, interaction or whatever. Like, I really want to know more Terraria YouTubers, like, some good people. I've, uh, I found, uh, Rito, uh, Gaming. And I found Happy Days. Happy is a. I don't like. Uh, well, well, I'll, I'll I'll leave it at that. I'm not I'm not a fan of the content that he produces. It's a little bit too spastic for me. Um, I feel like I'm not the target audience. You know, I'm not the target demographic. I'm older than 13 years old. Um. But. Uh, and that's, that's kind of how it goes with a lot of them. Like, uh, Python GB has a Terraria series as well. And, um... He's kind of the same thing. He feels kind of like an Etho knockoff. But not a good one. And he has a lot of the same catchphrases and stuff. And I feel like he's, uh... Trying to imitate Etho to a certain extent. Um... But he's, he's, he's enjoyable. I enjoy it anyway. But Happy Days, I just... I really can't get behind that. He's like a huge YouTuber too. I mean, it's always, I guess that's kind of how it goes, right? I guess that's kind of how it goes. The, the biggest target demographic is, of course, the children. The young uh, teens and all that. So when you have a big YouTuber, chances are pretty good that that's their target demographic. Not a hipster thing. It's just the statistics thing. The people with smaller, the, the the people with less subscribers just tend to be more enjoyable to me personally. It's not, it's not about trying to be a uh, you know, small YouTubers uh, kind of thing. But you know, people with ten to a hundred thousand subscribers, typically, in my opinion, that's like the golden sub, you know, uh, amount for me. Um, because I just, people at that point, you know, especially if they're like established and they've been going for a while, people at that point, they're not putting in the effort to make the content clickbaity and, and like grow the channel and make all of that like over the top, excited, fake kind of stuff to get the extra users, right? They're just content being where they are and I respect that and that, uh, you know, at least it's a much better content, much more enjoyable content for me anyway, generally speaking. It's not an always thing, you know? I watched Linus Tech Tips. Well, actually, you know what? I think that uh, it even even in, with regards to Linus Tech Tips, and it, uh, it shows, because I believe that Linus Tech Tips has over 10 million subscribers or something like that. And he, they do have a much more clickbaity kind of um, over-the-top reactions to stuff. Um... You know, they, they are kind of harping on that algorithm. And, uh... Then you have, like, Jay's Two Cents, who is a much more restrained, laid-back individual. Well, they are a, uh, a group as well, but... Um, and then he has much less subscribers, you know, it just... Yeah, you just, you just, you just, you, bigger, bigger YouTubers, generally speaking, are a little bit more over the top, a little bit more overexcited, and, uh, it's, it's, it's just because that's what you have to do to be a bigger YouTuber, so, anyway, I want to know more Terraria YouTubers, and of the ones that I watch, the content that I enjoy the most is, uh, when they finish something, when they don't finish something, I'm just like, I don't know, 
I still watch it. I still enjoy it, but it's not it's not as enjoyable, and I wouldn't want to make that content. You know what I mean? It feels cheap. It feels unfinished. Well, it is unfinished. Um, anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. Subscribe to see more of the future comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.